Hi Pisces, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Pisces, this is your reading for the upcoming two weeks, starting today on the 24th of January, which is on the new moon in Aquarius. And we have just entered into Aquarian season as well, which started on the 20th of January. And then we have the new moon today on the 24th. doesn't matter if you listen to this reading uh, a week from now, a month from now. It's the same energy that you can, can pick up. Um, but it is quite awesome that we have both the Aquarius season and the new moon in Aquarius, which is talking a lot about like uplifting energy, new energy, visions, new ideas, things to implement in your life that you want to see to come to fruition and it's very likely to do so now and it's all about relationship any type of relationship you can imagine like with your partner with parents with co-workers with friends with with yourself like it's all about relationships and um, and that goes all the way into your sign because we switch into the pisces season after aquarian season so it's blending beautifully starting with the Pisces coming in uh, somewhere mid-February. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a really cool energy right now. So use it if you want to. Then I've changed it up to uh, using the, the Psychic Tarot deck, just for today at least, uh, from John Holland. Welcome to any newcomers. If you saw me before, I've been using another deck just the entire time. And then I'm ending off this reading with timing cards. When the things coming out in this reading is going to happen. And why is that important when I don't believe in that sort of timing? I believe that timing is about you having a wish. You're having a vision. You want something to manifest. The thing you want to manifest, the vision you have, once, which carries a, vi a vibration or a frequency... And so when you're in attuned, when you're, you're attuned to that vibration, when you're in alignment with that vib vibration, with that wish, it has to manifest. It, it, it is just no way around it. It's law. Um, so why bring out timing cards? Because if it says it's going to happen two weeks from now, awesome. Just keep doing what you're doing and, and it's soon here. If it says in your face, <laughs> it doesn't say that. If it says this is not going to happen anytime soon, then you know, okay, what I'm doing that I thought was working, or maybe you feel it's not working, then we can change it up. We can switch the energy around for you to be more in alignment. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for a card. I don't feel like I have to shuffle this long. I'm just waiting for some cards to pop out, to fly out, to want to be in this reading. So far it hasn't, so I might pick them. Hope you're feeling good out there. I feel like it's a bit of a like you need to to keep up with the energy here. My son started like he started to burn his finger on a light bulb this morning, and then just kept escalating. So I was just sitting, sitting. I was just sitting him down, and I was like, Elliot, we need to have a little talk. He's one and a half years old. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> that's no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> like, we need to put you on a good path again. We need to focus on the good now. Because we keep bumping into things, running into things, burning ourselves. You know, it's not good. And it worked. That little just, you know, okay, wait, wait. Sit down, refocus. What is the most fun thing we can do after this that sort of shifts the energy a bit to, to puts us back on track? That was to play with his car. Okay, awesome. Let's play with your car for a bit. Then what do we do? Let's play with the ball. Okay, then we play with the ball. Then what do we do? I want to go outside. He doesn't say that. He signs that though. That's... I asked for it, didn't I? Does it have any... Holy shoot. One, two, three, four. That's double the. I'm sorry. I'm s okay. Let's just say I'm gonna tell you. Sacrifice number twelve, universe card. Awesome, profound completion. Intuition number two, universe card. Awesome. Uh, balance number eleven, universe card. Awesome. 
Uh, material and spiritual prosperity, number six. What? Uh, mental conflict. There's a little piece here that's left before you're like fully, fully, fully there. Transformation, number 13. Um, uh, universe card. <clears throat> Is it even possible to get these many universe cards in one like fly out? I guess it was. So there's some good energy here, guys. There's some really good energy here. Is that one little square? That's one little piece. Like I said about my son there, we just is it takes two minutes to just refocus your energy to then keep not keep stumbling into things, not keep attracting things that just goes bigger and bigger because we didn't take the time, the two minute time to just refocus the energy. And then his ice, his favorite ice cream was gone. Like it was like the my oldest son is hearing impaired, so I do sign language, and therefore it's been so natural to just use sign with language with my youngest son, and so he does sign for, signs for everything. And so this is ice cream, and 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 I, I knew that the ice cream was it eaten it all. I can eat like it's the pop popsicles. Do you say that the ice the icy icicle popsicle? Yeah, he can have like, I'm going to pick them because we're six minutes in and no cards has, well, six cards has falling out to, to be fair. Is there something about you can't decide right now? Because I, I feel like I have it even a hard time picking. I'm usually like very, oh, there's a card, there's a card that I want. Maybe there's something about that. We still have two, um, wow, the numbers. We still have two universe cards, yet two different ones. So you had four, we, you have had six cards coming out. The, the universe, it's completion, it's fulfillment, it's um, uh, time to reap what you've sowed, it's fruit coming in from what you like been wanting, manifestation time, that sort of thing. I feel, okay, starting with the first card, number six. Number six for me stands for romantic partnerships. And I feel both for uh, a committed relationship and singles here. So for the committed relationship, there's something found again. We found harmony within this. We found, it's this harmony on the bottom. I'm sorry that the um, program in the computer uh, switch, switches it around. There might be some way that I can change that, that I just don't understand. But for now, I just tell you what's on the bottom. It says harmony. Um, it's a green heart. It's not the it's not the pink or red heart, which stands for like it's not fragmented love, but it's the romantic love. It's the type that okay, let's stay together till death death do us part. Where's the unconditional love in that? We um, I'll stay I'll stay with you until I don't like you or you, what you're doing. That's not very unconditional. Of course, you get to choose whatever you want in your life, but rather to be one with yourself and attract somebody that's really one with themselves, themselves as well, rather than coming together with somebody that you want to change for from the very start and whatever they're doing, you don't feel really, you know, appreciative of. We don't even have to go down that road because it doesn't even matter because it's not even coming up. So what this card is showing is that the whole universe is backing you up there's something about feeling fulfilled feeling like you reached something you, you you've been able to talk to your partner in a way that you maybe felt like you haven't been before maybe they're reaching out to you in a way that you haven't you know felt before um and i feel for some that's really a deeper connection just a deeper connection for some even an negate engagement some uh, a wedding so some sort of celebration happening here so congratulations uh, pisces um and then with the border there it's like 
the black border it's like it's divinely guided it's like when you try to move away from this relationship or if you've thought about leaving this relationship or if you thought this is too much work it's like something's bringing you guys back together again and it can you can even have been separated you can even like be or separated in the same house like li completely living your own life together with the other person if that makes sense and then and then you slowly start to move towards each other again there's just something that keeps it alive for you not to want to say i want this to be over it's it's like it's always a way back and i feel this is a very divinely you want this relationship you can grow immensely by staying in this relationship and it and this is the type of unconditional love that i'm talking about that you want it's really beautiful and uh pisces if you're single this is the type of relationship that you're looking forward to to not sort of second guess yourself to not have to com i feel like the word compromise is really highlighted here that you maybe feel in the past that you be that you had to compromise a lot of who you can compromise with your partner you can like and if you have kids on top of that like there's going to be compromise there's going to be would i rather do this right now than to put up put up <laughs> to pick up my kids from daycare or from school or from a party or from town whatever however old they are um of course the priority is that you do want to pick them up so maybe it's not a compromise in that sense but there is some sort of compromise but that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about when you when you start to compromise with who you are to fit into the relationship because it fits the other person better i feel like none of that is going to happen in this it's rather it's rather the other way around where you feel oh my god it's like the more i am myself the more they just love me and the more i they get hooked into my energy the more i reveal about myself that i maybe don't like about myself they just seem to adore about me so keep chewing with your mouth open that's not what I mean, but you do know what I mean. Um, okay, moving on, moving on. Then, I, I don't know if this is what you needed to hear first. Like we're, and, and remember this now, uh, Pisces, because it is harmony and you do come together. You keep coming together. But then we have this disruption, which means something disturbs the order something comes in to shake the ground a bit or to it doesn't have to be big at all this what i'm feeling here doesn't have to be big at all but there's something yet and it's number 16 and number 16 for me stands for sudden changes so it's not something you probably on some level you saw it coming because you pick up everything you're so sensitive and so you pick up everything that's going on so it's not a surprise to like are you leaving me it's none of that none of that but it's a disruption it's a dis dis disruption i keep saying disruption disruption um and you see it's perfectly like even shown to you how you you pick yourself apart to pieces you pick yourself apart and i feel like when you trust that you sort of stay within yourself stay within your energy and stop putting focus on them what they have done what they haven't done what they could have done uh whoever this is in your life whoever this is i mean this shows a romantic partnership but when the, the when the disruption comes in I feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be with a romantic partner. For some of you guys, you haven't even met this partner. So the disruption here, I feel, is when you start to lend yourself out to others, try to compromise, try to turn and twist and, and bend yourself backwards in order for to fit what works for everybody else. And it's like, I feel, I feel... like I did now at first I almost want to explode and then I take a deep sigh like within uh, I take a deep breath and I'm like 
calm down and we're back to normal something is going to give here guys some you're done with this sort of uh um petting somebody on the back stroking stroking somebody over the hair when they, they don't need stroking they're old enough to take care of themselves they're old enough they know what they're doing they know what they're doing and i feel like you've had it and there's something if this this is going to shift so much for you the second the third card out is number nine and it's the suffering in silence so i mean i don't, I don't mean to laugh at you <laughs> maybe just a tiny bit pisces this is just your energy this is just you like thinking about what just happened and this and i get the feeling of yet again yet again it's like you lended your energy out to these people and it's not yours to lend anymore specifically when the other people don't recognize their like their own, they need to shift their own energy you just cannot pick yourself apart to pick up their pieces to pick them their pieces together as i said that is a 1616 on the on the clock with the 16 card so i want some clarification around this for the Pisces, we want some uplifting, maybe solutions, what to do about this, what to, how can we guide the Pisces in this? Because I, I just feel like this, this is the, this is the ground energy that you carry Pisces. So it's almost, it's almost impossible for you to find yourself in these situations. Maybe they're very rare. It's just that that one time or that one thing that happens is one time or one thing too many for you. It's like you reached your limit. And that is some of the old energy playing out here, Pisces, I feel. Some of like the, the last decade, the last heavier energy that we were in, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's see. And something just brightened up. Maybe the sun comes in a bit here as well. Something just bright brightened up. It's almost like I want to go back and say, this hasn't happened yet and it won't. Maybe, maybe due to you just watching this reading, maybe you're just putting your foot down on the internal, like on the inside saying, I'm done, I'm done with it. I'm done with mending in other people's lives and putting the pieces back together. It's not my responsibility anymore. I'm, I Take care of yourself. And you're not mean for doing that, Pisces. You're not a douchebag or a bitch or a, Oh my God, are you so selfish that you can just think of yourself like that and not care? You, I feel like you cared way too long in a situation where they just need to find the power from it within. They cannot rely on, rely on you in, anymore. You put yourself into pieces and you're putting their pieces back together. It's not them putting their pieces back together, if that makes sense. Yes, thank you. You got this in the, the first flip. Number 11, balance. And man, you've been working out, Pisces. <laughs> um, it's a cup and a star and whoever you know knows tarot, that might mean something to you. It doesn't mean anything to me. Number 11 for me, though, means a whole lot. It means alignment. It means a portal that we're stepping through. It means that we're choosing something new and we're leaving something else behind. We have the black border again. So it's divine. Like you, you have divine help here. Divine help here. And it's the third card out. It's the, it's the, feet of six. It's the seventh card out from the flip cards and the cards that came up. You're, you're so divinely guided right now i feel like i'm starting to yell 
Um, you're so divinely guided right now. This is your ground energy. You are in, in harmony. You are in, mostly in harmony with yourself. You're mostly in balance with yourself. So the more things start to happen on the outer, like on the outer, it makes more and more sense now, that does not match this balance or match this harmony, it's just going to hit you like a train because it's so, maybe 10 years ago, it wasn't that different. And as, as I said, there is starting, you know, orb starts to fly here. Um, maybe 10 years ago, you weren't so high up that you are now. So when things happen like that, it wasn't really standing out from you, for you, because you were somewhat more in alignment with that energy. But the work that you've done on yourself and with yourself from the inside out over the past 10, 20 years you're a completely different species, like you're a completely different version of yourself. And you're for the most part in a lot of harmony and in a lot of balance. And when something different comes in to, to like disrupt this, disrupt this balance, um, you're feeling it and you're feeling it hard. But now you can start to help these people that you have sort of done a disservice in the past, meaning you've helped them even though they were not ready to be helped or, or something like that. Or just to, for you to feel order, you, we need to put, put this back together. But if you just give it a rest and have everybody take responsibility for themselves, that is like the best perspective on this now. And like I said, I feel like this might not even happen now. It's like just listening to this reading and just having that decision from the inside. Wait, 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 wait. It's not mine to come in talking between two people anymore. It's not mine to fix. It's not mine to straighten out. It's just not mine to deal with. But I'm in such a good place. I'm in number 11. I'm in alignment here, guys. This is alignment. This is balance. From that perspective, start to view these people that seems to do the disruption, to, that seems to mess things up. Look at them from this point of view and love them to death. Love their darkness to death. Love, love their anxieties, their insecurities, their whatever imbalanced things that they are doing love it to death come from a unconditional sorry i got something in my eye unconditional place where they can really do whatever that's what i started out saying for your partner if that goes both ways for you to sorry that you have to watch me do this um if that goes both ways it, it should be like for your peers for your friends for your parents for your children for your partner as well like they can behave however they want and you still practice 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 just standing in that alignment with yourself standing in that harmony and balance and look at them with love look beyond their behavior look beyond their st stupid silliness that they just can't get out of and just raise them to the heavens say i see you i see past this bullshit that you're doing you're not tricking me anymore we don't have to put you together you can put yourself together you can you can you know straighten yourself out i see past that i see your heart i see your soul i i see you i see what you're doing and then just hold that vision take something else or someone else in your life that you love like that it can even be a pet if it's hard to find in in the human form <laughs> Uh, babies and pets seems to be easy to like if you focus on a cat that you have or if you focus on a dog that you have or some just somebody else maybe your partner right now maybe not for the Pisces that haven't found them yet but if you focus on somebody that you really really love in your life or even somebody that you admire that you don't even know that you send really good energy out to the world when you think of these people think of this person or think of this cat excuse me, and then apply the same energy onto this person. Start to talk about these people that sort of disrupts everything in the same way that you talk about your cat, in the same way that you talk about this loving, loving person in your life, or the same way you talk about this awesome, famous person that you sort of look up to. 
Okay, that, if that makes any sense, you know how to shift the energy from how you saw them from before. They tricked you into being something that they're not. And it is having a bit of trouble to finding their path. And, and you're clear, guys, Pisces, you're clear. So you can do this with the help of the divine as well. Okay, I get a hint here from the, from the phone. And so, yes. Um, that's your reading for today. There's so many things happening here. So I'm not even going to do a timing card. I'm just telling you, this is what's going on now. And the things dis disruption thing, it might need to happen for you to choose differently this, this time, for you to see how you react this time. And, and to have something happen that you react so differently to is more fun than to not have it react, have it happen at all for you to sort of just in your mind thinking, I'd probably react completely different this time. But when it actually happens and you do react differently and you stay your ground and you stay in your balance and you see things can happen, things can just blow up next to me and I'm still in this alignment, that's the best feeling ever. Then now you're in control, guys. So I hope this helps. I hope it uplifts. Um, a bit weird reading, I have to say. Um, and I hope to see you back next week for your next reading. Please subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. Take care, guys. Bye. Happy new moon.